just a typical chrome. He's feeling good. He looks good body-wise. He's, he's carrying weight good. and uh, He looks like he's, he's on peak form coming into the Breeders' Cup. You know, we have a great crew. And, you know, as you get closer to the Breeders' Cup, there's a lot of anxiety. Uh, it's going to be a great race. You know, we should have a full field, uh, 10 or 11 horses in there. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. It, it means... It means a lot on his resume if he can win the Breeders' Cup. It would be a feather in his hat. The feeling they're not going to let me go to the front and, and have an easy lead. They seem that's not the way to beat me. So I got a feeling they'll be showing speed, a lot of horses, trying to take the racetrack away from me. But he's a stalker, you know. We've I've always thought his best race was sitting right off the pace. So. We just got to leave it up to Victor and have him ride a good race. He got a registered work of a minute and two-fifths. I got him a little bit faster. I always do. I got him in 59 and 4, and uh, the clockers had him galloping out in 113 flat, which was great. He went the first quarter in 25, but the last eighth of a mile, he went in 11 flat, just under a breeze, you know. It was just what I wanted, you know. We put the blinkers on him today and it made such a big difference. Get some more focus to get that a little bit better. He kind of, in the morning, if you don't put the blinkers on him, he just thinks he's out for a gallop.